Hello, how are you? My name is Anthony Gray of Grayscale Painting. I'm going to do another seascape. This one is a little unusual. I uh, definitely don't do too many of these. It's got a little bit of perspective in it. It's going to give you a vision of um, the camera is half out of the water, half in the water. I'm pretty sure you've seen paintings like that. All right. And I'm also working in a series of uh, thirds, okay, which is the reason why the tape is a little higher than half. Actually, half is right here, this line. So we're, this is two inch tape, 11 by 15 inch watercolor paper. And this is one third, all right. The lower two thirds will be involved with the, um, with the water, all right. Okay, I may put other things in there to um, give you a sense of scale. Okay, if you look down here, what I have, black paint, acrylic. I work with heavy body acrylics. So we got our black, titanium white, phthalo green, and uh, processed cyan. All right, my cup of water, clean out the brushes, but we all know about that. Right here, this clear stuff is vegetable glycerin. It just helps the paint. Uh, it thins it out, makes it uh, transparent. It just helps the paint to flow and it extends the drying time of the acrylic paint. It's good for blending and all of that good stuff. Okay, I guess we will move right along. Let's take a two inch flat brush. I'm gonna just dip a little bit of, just a little bit of glycerin. I don't really need that much. We're gonna concentrate on the top half anyway. Come up here to the board. And I think I'm gonna dab a little bit of titanium white down on the bottom here, bottom part of the sky, right here. I won't go further up with it. Maybe just an inch, right there. That's about all. All right, let's get a little bit of, just a little bit of phthalo, um, this is not that it's processed cyan. And I'll just kind of scumble in some cloudy stuff there. Let's put some of that down on the bottom a little bit. It's going to lighten it up just a bit. Just like that. All right. I'm going to turn the brush around and get a little bit of that, that uh, phthalo green. Okay, and I'll put it right up in here. Just like that. Come down here. Put a little here. We'll kind of swerve it all around up in here, just like that. Get a touch more blue. We'll introduce some of that blue, but a tippy top right up in here, just like that. So we got a little bit of both colors just swirling around there. All right. We're gonna take a blender brush, and we're just going to kind of blend all of this in. Get some of those sky colors going. Remember, it's mixing in with the white on the bottom, so it'll just be a little bit lighter. A little lighter area of the sky. I'm just going in circles. Softly blend both colors together, mix them in there. No streak marks. Let's have it flow right in there. Just like that. Just like so. And we'll just take the egg strokes, just like that. I don't want too many um, dark patches. I'll try to get it as smooth as I can. Move some of this stuff around. I want a nice gentle mix and blend of everything. You can vary the weight of your mix, mixing, when you do this circular motion here. strokes very softly as you see I got a little bit of white right there in the center we're gonna keep that all right all right I kind of like a darkened uh, sky so I'll take a little bit more of this process I am and we'll just pop a little bit of that love right up in here just a little bit now like that and I'll take it I'll just kind of blend it 
Because I just want a little more darkness right there. I'll kind of have that come out there like that. All right. And basically, like I said, I just want to get the streak marks out of there, basically. So you do a lot of this according to how detailed you want your sky to be. All right. I just like the activity going on. Okay. All right. So we have this established already. I can say nothing really special. You can add white clouds in there if you would like to. Um, really up to you. If you want it more dramatic, you can have it a little darker on the on the corners. Definitely up to you how you want to present it. Okay. All right. Let's take off the tape for a minute here. So we got a pretty firm horizon line there. Okay. I hope you can see this. We're going to establish uh, sort of in perspective um, the water, the ocean or whatever. But we're going to uh, put like, a, uh, like I said, the camera's half in and half out of the water. So we'll put like something like that going on and have it come up here. All right. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, and what I just did is just put a line that's going to separate the top half from what you're going to see on the bottom. Okay, that's basically all I've done. So we're going to have this lower third be kind of that bluish green like this up here, but we're going to put it down here. Okay, and this up here will be a little darker. All right, okay. Now, before I even go on to doing any of that, I want to establish loosely some seabed rocks type of thing going on down here. All right, and we're going to do that with a flat brush. Uh, I guess I'll take this three quarter inch flat here and this will work. All right, and we're going to establish uh, some groundwork in there. Look down here. What I'm going to do is take oh let's first off take a little bit of black okay and we'll put it right here we'll, we'll establish it right here we'll get a little glycerin and i'll just take it and we're going to go back and forth like that now i'll put the glycerin over the whole brush okay i'm gonna get a tiny bit of white all right and i'm gonna put the white in there with the black we get this a kind of a dark gray thing happening like so and this is just the glycerin all right and we're gonna come right here on the bottom on the bottom here right on the bottom we're just kind of actually i'm gonna need a lot more than that actually what i should have did was put the glycerin here on the bottom so we'll put the glycerin on the bottom just like this get that a little dark yes i got paint on the brush it's okay i'm still establishing the ground right in here we're gonna get a little more we're gonna get some nothing but black here for a minute put it right in there just like that okay we only need a little bit and I really want to establish the depth right here on the bottom now that line on top here we're gonna fade that right out all right and we're gonna use we're gonna use a little bit of white and we're gonna fade that that part out right in here this part right in here we're just back and forth fade it right out get it nice fade it out just like that back and forth and we're gonna go back into our and what this uh, titanium white is doing that you put in a layer of if we're making it gray you know it appears black but it's not once you put that titanium white on there it's no longer no longer white okay get a little heavier white and we're gonna get rid of that that edge there okay fade it right out all right and just take it right out of there okay we're gonna get some more of the black I'm gonna put it right here a little touch of of white we're gonna make some gray here get it pre pretty light as a matter of fact get some lighter gray there we go 
we're getting it pretty light gray because we want to establish some rocks or whatnot down there but once you put the color over this stuff okay it's going to take on the color of what you uh paint for the bottom half of the water you follow me so we're gonna just get some rocks going here some seabed stuff all up in here like that just like this and we're gonna block some of that in there have it come down like that all right so we establish that a little bit technically it can be a little darker and we're gonna make it just a little bit darker just a little we're gonna go over the same thing we're just gonna make it a little darker gray just like that make it a little, a little darker there we're gonna put another bed in there rock bed a little further off it's gonna be a little lighter this one has to be a wee bit darker okay just like that and just establish it and bring all of that down like so just like that okay we're gonna establish another one now this one will be much lighter I'm going to the to same gray but much much lighter we're going higher up in the page this is very very simple to do um, you have a lot of fun with this we'll uh we'll do it right here just like that a little, little little lighter get something up there like this turn the brush around keep it kind of rough kind of um, rocky there just like that and I'm just dry brushing the bottom the bottom don't have to be as sharply detailed it's on the it's still on the water give the impression of it being on the water we'll pop a little bit of just like that okay it's definitely gonna be definitely gonna be underwater okay all right now the way you establish it being um, shown underwater you will institute a little bit of perspective when it's on the top of the water right now it doesn't make any any sense yet um, we'll take look down here take a little bit of white put it in with the lightest gray and just establishing a little bit of texture um, you should be able to see it hopefully on the bottom here if, if it catches it right you should be able to see a little bit of texture here on this all right okay we're gonna start off right in here we get like I say just a little bit of texture going on and nothing really special just to symbolize the rockiness of this fellow just like this and we're gonna put it right up in there like that just like so we'll have it come down a little bit just like that give another little little tap he just like I say we're just establishing some rocky patterns here and there on this just like that I got a little bit of paint on the on the side of the knife we'll take it and we'll just kind of rub some of that in there like so you can move through this rather quickly all it's gonna be lay a, 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 a mood okay put some on the bottom there just like that nothing special there's a reason why it's a little bit lighter okay you'll see in a second all of this uh, somewhat makes sense to you let's go a little bit darker gray for the one that's that's uh, out here and we'll do the same thing essentially get some patterns going in here even with this guy far further back okay mixing in a little bit of white with the gray that's already established just like this go up on the top almost no rhyme or reason really but we're just establishing some texture for these fellas now you have to think this is all going to get glazed under okay so 
we're having a little little fun there just like that all right going into my black more black and mixing it a little bit into that gray just for some interesting texture right around in here just take it and slide it across slide it across slide it across almost creating like a little shadow down in there okay and just spreading it across like I say it'll make sense in a second or two just mixing a few of the colors together just like that let's bring that one down there let it resemble that peak like that okay just like that okay all right like I say it doesn't make a little doesn't make sense yet but it will in a few we're gonna give this a little chance to just tack up and dry a little bit before we glaze all of that so let's go turn our attention up here this half we're gonna turn our attention from the horizon line to this curved area right here all right let's have a little bit of glistening don't need too much of this all right, and we're gonna go from that horizon line okay I put plenty on here. Get it nice and slick, like so. Right on around in here. And I'm only doing the area that I want covered first, which is gonna be what, like I said, from the horizon line to that curved, the curved part right in here. That's all I need. I'm wiping off my brush. And now I'm gonna go right across and take some of this glycerin off. Cause you don't need too much of this stuff. All right, and now, now here we go. Let's get a little bit of this process cyan. Okay, and right from the top here, get close to the to the horizon line as you can. We're gonna fade all of this, so don't don't worry. A lot of this is gonna be mixed and and all that good stuff. Get close to the horizon line. Try to keep it as even as you can, even as you can. Okay, at least try to. You still want it pretty much flat. Okay. We're going to go with a little bit into that green. Okay. And we're going to throw some of that green in there too. Just like that. Just pop some of that green in there. Coming right to the edge. Bring that curve in there. Don't worry about how I'm doing it because it all will be blended. So don't worry. You'll see in a second. Now, if I have to coat this with a little more blue, we'll do that accordingly also. Just like that, okay? Now watch what I'm gonna do here. I'll just take the same brush and we're just gonna as carefully as you can with that horizon line there, like that. All right, okay. All I'm gonna get is a smaller brush. Okay, and we're gonna continue some of that smooth. Get it kinda smooth there, like that. Get our blender brush and kinda get some egg strokes happening in there. Blend that right in there. Blend it right in, just like this. Egg strokes and softly, softly as you can. Kinda nice. We'll blend it right in there some of those colors there and I'm gonna go back over this with a little bit of, of blue darken it up a little bit and we're gonna the glycerin is helping this move around a lot of you get a little nervous about water movement and all of that. I'll show you that it's not as um, it's not as threatening as you would think. We're gonna we're gonna blend this just like you see. Remember, this has got to be relatively darker. Now, when I say dark, I don't mean pitch black. Okay, we're talking about color value. Get it? 
a little darker. And we're here on the sides. Bring some of that blue from over here. Bring some of that down in here. Just like so. Put it right in there. Just like that. Okay. And very lightly, once again, if you got a steady hand. Same brush. I'm just smoothing out everything. Not forcefully. Just like that. Just like so. Just smooth out a little bit. Just like that. All right. Okay. All right. So we got a little bit of that established. Let's get a liner brush. Now with the liner brush, I'm dipping it into water. I'm going to get a little bit of titanium white. Now remember, this paint very movable. Okay. I'm just using strict white. And what the white's going to do is pick up that color. Got me? It's going to pick up a little bit of this color. So, if you got a steady hand, all right, get as close to the horizon line as you possibly can. And remember, this white will pick up some of that color. So, obviously, it won't be totally white. And we're going to go back into our titanium white get a little bit of water make it a really really soupy consistency there all right come on the other side and I don't use my wrist I'm using my whole arm to drag it across there I'm twirling the brush also as I'm doing this okay now I'm gonna take this white you see all this dark? Take some of that white and we're going to get some, of, you're going to surround wherever it's dark at. That's where you're going to put some of this white in it. Twirl the brush as you, as you, can, as you do this. All right, twirl the brush around. See this, twirl it around. It's picking up the color. All right, you can be as detailed or as loose well, the looser you are, the better it look, basically. But we're getting tiny little wave caps happening here. Just where you see, where you see that dark? Okay. And you can go over it again if you don't want your white to be too blatant. All right. And we're gonna do a few here. Just where you would figure it's kind of dark at. And this obviously tells you how the water's moving. Get a little more white. I don't clean the brush. Don't need to. Now that craziness is not needed. Get rid of that. Just like this. Come on around. I'm twirling the brush around. Here and there. Okay. Much like that. Okay. I'm going to get some glycerin. I take a three quarter inch brush here. Look down here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to just put it right in here. Get some green, pop that green in that glycerin, just like this. Get some of that blue, put that blue in there, just like that. Now we're gonna glaze down on the bottom here. Hopefully I got plenty, we're about to find out. Usually I would just glisten, gl put glycerin all under here, and it would make it smoother, but we're gonna get a little interesting, let's see what we do here. Right here. Put it right on the top there. Right on the top. Do the top first. I'll turn my brush around. Right on the top. Right on the top. Right across all of that. And then what we're going to do, especially down here. Remember, it's got glycerin on there. So don't worry about it drying or anything like that. That's not going to happen. all under here put it right right in there can you see the effect already okay get as close as I can to the top here okay I'm gonna get a little more green a little more of that blue 
a little more of that glycerin. Put the glycerin right in there. And what the glycerin does, besides move around and keeps it uh, wet longer, it prolongs the drying time. And you move it, move it around. It makes the makes the paint transparent, which is why you can do what you see me do right now. And remember, gray is a neutral color. All right, it accepts everything. But look at what we have here. All right, you see this? I kind of like that dark edge there, but we don't need it right now because it's going to be, uh, I'm just wearing away the top part here. That dark line will be replaced by a lighter one, which is why I'm moving it around, moving it out of there. Now remember, as glycerin dries, it expands. Follow me. Okay. Just like that. It's like what you see here. Very simple painting, very quick. Nice little effect. All right. You see that? Top half, lower half. All right. What we're gonna do is get a nice little You don't have to be perfect with this. Twirl the brush around. Twirl it around. Twirl in the brush around. Okay. That's all I'm doing. You gotta get it thick enough to give a distinction. Just like this. We're gonna do something interesting with, with this part anyway. Okay. But just be sure to get it at least thick enough where you can see the difference. Just like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of it up there. Okay. Alrighty then. Get a little bit of white with the fan brush. We're going to deal with the corner of the fan brush. And we're going to kind of get some little activity going in there, just like this. Okay. Put some of that up in here, kind of. And we'll get some little dots and some stuff working up here. Like that. Maybe kind of fluff it up a little bit. Get some action going in there. Very simple. Very simple. Pop some up in here like this. And get some stuff happening up around there like that. Just like that. All right, you can get some action going on in those waves back there if you would like. And a couple of little wave streaks in there, just, just a few. The more you put in, the more turbulent it looks. Okay, so it's really up to you how, how far you wanna go with it. All right. Next day, it's really up to you how turbulent you want this to be. Have them all going in the same direction, though. That's the key to it. Have them going all in the same direction. Like so. Okay. Just like that. All right, let's uh, maybe, maybe very lightly. I remember the glisten is still wet. We'll pop in a few. underwater things going on back there. I have one come down to the front, so 
get different vantage points of stuff there, just like that. Don't worry, it won't look this glaringly white. We'll fade and transition some of this downward. Get some thin ones in there like this. Look a thin one coming up like that. All right. It won't look that that glaring. We're gonna lighten some of that up. Take a soft blender brush, going in the, in that direction. Just lighten it up a little bit. Okay, just lighten it up. Just like that, lighten it right up. You can have a few stand out if you would like it, but it's not necessary. See, lighten it up a little. Just a little bit. And very lightly go across again. Go across. Fade some of that. All right. You can take a. We'll put something going across here too, one or, or whatever. Just something, something light, just kind of going across here. Have it. Have a couple of them going across this guy, like that. Just like that. We'll pull the camera back. You can kind of see what I'm talking about there. All right. And we're going to do the same concept. Remember, the glycerin is still pretty wet. And you can still maneuver this stuff here and there. Like this. And softly do this one too. And you can just go across a little bit. Just like that. Just to kill some of that. See? You don't have to have it all. It's up to you how how glaring and, and how much depth you want in this. Okay. All right. Not a difficult piece to uh, to try out. It would look something like that if you wanted to put it in some type of frame there. Okay. I can say a very simple type of painting. But we all know everybody tends to like the darker frame a little bit better. It obviously frames it in much better. Okay. All right. Hope you liked uh, this presentation. I hope it helped you out. Um, hope it gives you some ideas, you know, on how to how to do the uh, the um, this type of uh, half above, half below. <clears throat> water scene got a little rocks and whatever down there in the bottom um, a few little rays some little bubbles going through it and whatnot so it's really up to you how you want to approach it I've got very ocean like colors throughout the whole the whole painting okay and you see how accommodating the gray is um, for doing it underneath the water and the lighter gray you can still see depth and distance even in this you see how the land just fades out all into that blue okay um you can put sea creatures in here do it the same way with gray tones and put the water in there and and there you have it all right um much more that can be done with this but i wanted to show you at least how it's done and you guys can take it and run away with it names and the degree of risk skills painting i hope you like it let me know what you think about it in the description below if you like what I present to you, um, press that nice little like button. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And I'll see you when I see you.